Hi, I'm Michael Duarte with NBCLA, and I am here with Los Angeles Dodgers outfielder Brett Eibner for another edition of Discover Your Dodgers. Now, Brett, let's get started. I heard you're from originally from, from Woodlands, Texas, right? Played your college ball at Arkansas. Is that correct? Um, actually, I was born in San Diego. Um, I only lived in the Woodlands for like a year and a half. I moved in halfway through my junior year, but um, I kind of lived all over. I've lived in Virginia, North Carolina, like I said, Texas for a year, um, and then Arkansas for college for three years. So for you personally, why did you decide, because you got drafted out of high school, but you opted to go to Arkansas instead for three years. Why did you decide to go to college rather than go straight to the pros for you? Um, well, they actually originally drafted me as a pitcher. Um, I had uh, handmate surgery in my uh, senior year and I had only been able to pitch really for the majority of the season since I wasn't able to, to swing a bat so I only got maybe 60 at bats and um, the Astros drafted me and I just you know I didn't want to pitch at the time I knew I could still hit and I went to college and and I proved that and it still felt the same way coming out of the draft um, out of college and um, but you know here I am now throwing bullpens in the big leagues and looking at being another you know a two-way player again so um, it's crazy how seven years, you know, I'm, I'm kind of back at it. Yeah, we're going to get to that, but let's go to the, the Arkansas days for a while. I mean, some of your teammates, for fans who don't know, guys like Dallas Keuchel, Drew Smiley, Mike Bolsinger, and your current teammate here with the Dodgers, Logan Forsythe. Was that team as stacked as it sounds right now? I know they went to a couple College World Series while you were there. Yeah, and actually it was more stacked. You know, there's James McCann. He's a Detroit Tigers catcher. Matt Reynolds, he's with the New York Mets. Um, you know, Andy Wilkins, uh, he, he played with um, a few different teams, but he also got up to the big league. So there's quite a few, you know, quite a few of us that uh, have uh, made it to the big leagues. So as you mentioned, you do end up going to Arkansas for three years. Then you finally get drafted by the Royals, uh, you know, had, had some success there and then got traded to the A's and then finally landed here in Los Angeles. So over your journey so far of your baseball career, was there like, uh, what, what was like the down moment for you? What was a moment if you could pinpoint something that kind of everything changed for you or, or a light bulb went off or something just in the ups and downs of the big league? Um, well, a lot of it was, it was you know, when you're healthy. Um, you know, it's just, it's it's tough when, you know, you get hurt and, and you're kind of, you're not going to say you're left out, but, you know, the team will go on the road and you're kind of left there to do your rehab and, you know, not much is going on and that's all you, all you get to do. You don't have that camaraderie with the team. So I think that was probably the hardest part was, you know, my first DL stint and, and not being able to, you know, be with the team every day and, um, you know, get to enjoy and, you know, kind of the success that they're having. That, a lot of that when you're not with the team is all mental, you know, trying to get over that mental battle. I heard you worked a little bit with Jack Curtis, uh, kind of motivational speaker and stuff. What were those experiences like? What, did, what was something he gave you that you could share with us that kind of helped you in your path in your career? Um, he gave me actually a lot of good stuff, a lot of, you know, working on uh, like a daily journal, affirmations, and just kind of quiet time and trying to be more positive and, and take that, you know, into not just baseball but everyday life. Now, you had mentioned, you know, a couple bullpen sessions here. I guess it's the worst kept secret at Chavez Ravine that you've thrown, what, like six or eight bullpen sessions here. I know you were a pitcher, as you mentioned, in high school, in college. I heard your fastball clocked at 95. Dave Roberts says you have a slider. So are you ready to, to get into the game and, and get some action yet? Um, I think I could hold my own. Um, you know, I'm not really sure what, uh, you know, really what the outcome would be. But, you know, I feel, I feel pretty confident about, um, you know what I'm throwing and every time I go out there it gets better and better so um, you know I, I like to think that I like to get in a few more bullpens before I'm you know facing big league hitters but um, you know I, I do feel confident in the stuff that I have. I know you got engaged recently so congratulations what's the most romantic thing you've ever done for your fiance? Um, <laughs> she, she's a little bit different than most she uh, she likes the little things like the attention to detail. So she's not big on like the whole public scene. Look at us. Uh, so, you know, Valentine's show, her birthday um, is the day after Valentine's Day. So I got a double whammy there. So Valentine's Day, I didn't go super all out, but she's a big gum fanatic. She likes to, you know, different types of gum. So I got her a, um, like a box and I, I spent about 75 to a hundred dollars on all the, on just gum, pure wow. gum. And, and, and I put two, uh, uh, Starbucks gift cards at the bottom also coffee so she was super pumped about that with the you know personal card and, and some flowers so she's she's pretty psyched about that and then the next day I got her a uh, a husky puppy so 
Yeah, those were that was uh, that was part of the most romantic one. Yeah, you literally led into my next set question perfectly. I know you have a husky puppy, uh, so now we know where that came from. What's the name of your puppy? Uh, his name is Bodie. Perfect. Anyway, guys, this was Brett Eibner, uh, new new triple threat player for the Dodgers uh, uh, in the outfield, at the plate, and maybe on the mound soon. Thanks for your time again. Thank you.